dear students i am dr kavita assistant professor marani science college for women mysore welcoming you all to the continuation part of the photo chemistry so in this part you will come to know the construction and working of spectrophotometer or how spectrophotometer can be used to determine the molar extinction coefficient of a substance spectrophotometer is an instrument which measures an amount of light absorbed by a sample it is made up of two units one is spectrometer and another one is photometer spectrophotometer produces light of required wavelength photometer measures the intensity of transmission a spectrophotometer is mainly composed of source source may may be tungsten filament lamp or hydrogen or deuterium lamp for visible light tungsten lamp can be used for ultraviolet light hydrogen or deuterium lamp can be used the next part is monochromator it is used to obtain the light of desired wavelength the third part is absorption cell or sample that is the sample can be taken in glass or quartz quid or quartz cell the last part is detector which contains a photosensitive detector and an associated meter or digital display system let us see the diagram of spectrophotometer first is tungsten filament lamp that is source the beam of light from the source is allowed through monochromator it contains slit prism where dispersion of light will takes place and light of single wave length can be selected so the whole setup is monochromator the light of single wave length is allowed to pass through the sample taken in the cuvette and the transmitted light is allowed to fall on the photo cell where photoelectricity will be generated and it is allowed to pass through the recorder where it is displayed as absorbance so now the spectrophotometer contains mainly four parts source monochromator sample taken in the cuvette and the detector containing photosensitive cell and digital display system coming to the working of spectrophotometer first the cuvette is filled with blank or reference solution if we want to measure the absorbance of the colored substance the solution is made in water then the water will be a reference or blank solution so first blank solution is filled in cuvette and the monochromatic radiation is allowed to pass through it since there is no absorption the photoelectricity generated will be proportional to the intensity of incident radiation now the cell is filled with our experimental solution again the same monochromatic radiation is allowed to pass through it and the transmitted light will fall on the photo cell the photoelectricity generated now will be proportional to intensity of transmitted light since some amount of radiation will be absorbed by the sample the intensity of transmitted light will be lesser than the intensity of incident radiation now the ratio of current produced in case of blank and experimental solution will be measured and it is displayed as absorbance in the digital display system 
since log i naught by i is equal to epsilon c into x that is nothing but absorbance so absorbance will be displayed here and if you know the concentration of the solution taken and the x path length of the quet is fixed or known then absorbance will be equal to molar extinction coefficient thus molar extinction coefficient can be determined by spectrophotometer this is a picture of spectrophotometer so th this is the knob of monochromator where you can select the required wavelength and this is the absorbance displaying this is the cell compartment where we can keep reference or experimental solution. Now let us see few application of spectrophotometer. So you can determine the concentration of unknown solution. You can determine molar extinction coefficient and by determining molar extinction coefficient since it is a characteristic of a substance, you can identify the compound. And we can determine the pK value of an indicator. And in spectrophotometric titration, by following the absorbance of a compound, you can determine the end point of titration. And you can detect the impurities of a substance. We can study the kinetics of a reaction that is by measuring the absorbance of a substance with time you can study or determine the rate constant of a reaction and by measuring the absorption maximum we can identify the organic compound.